Washington President Trump's former national security adviser, Michael T. Flynn, pleaded guilty on Friday to lying to the FBI about conversations with the Russian ambassador last December, becoming the first senior White House official to pledge cooperation in the special counsel's wide-ranging inquiry of election meddling. M. R. Flynn's pre-inauguration discussions with Sergei I. Kislyak, the Russian ambassador, were part of a coordinated effort by aides running M. R. Trump's transition into the White House to create foreign policy before they were in power, documents released as part of M. R. Flynn's plea agreement show. Their efforts undermined the existing policy of President Barack Obama and flouted a warning from a senior Obama administration official to stop meddling in foreign affairs until after the inauguration. Court documents do not disclose what Mr. Trump knew about Mr. Flynn's discussions. But in at least one instance, federal prosecutors say, Mr. Flynn was directed by a very senior member of the presidential transition team. Mr. Trump's lawyers believe that unnamed aide was Mr. Trump's son-in-law and close advisor, Jared Kushner, according to a lawyer briefed on the matter. The transition team was led by Vice President Mike Pence, and its top members included Mr. Kushner, Reince Priebus, Mr. Trump's first chief of staff, and K.T. McFarland, who was Mr. Flynn's deputy and was appointed to be the ambassador to Singapore. Mr. Flynn spoke to her about discussing sanctions against Russia with Mr. Kislyak, according to the lawyer. Mr. Flynn's decision to plead guilty marked a significant new phase in the investigation of the special counsel, Robert S. Mueller III, and a politically treacherous development for the president and his closest aides whose activities in the West Wing are being scrutinized by FBI agents and federal prosecutors. M. R. Flynn's admissions in his plea deal could deeply undercut the arguments made in January by M. R. Trump and his aides that they were not fully aware of M. R. Flynn's discussion with Russians about sanctions imposed on Russia by the Obama administration over the election meddling. In fact, the documents say multiple members of the team coordinated the specifics of Mr. Flynn's outreach to Russia and knew that the conversations were about sanctions. Court documents say that on December 29, Mr. Flynn called a senior transition official who was with other members of the team at Mr. Trump's Mar-a-Lago Club in Florida to discuss what, if anything, to communicate to the Russian ambassador about the U.S sanctions in a statement issued after he entered his plea in a federal courthouse in Washington, Mr. Flynn, 58, denied false accusations of treason, but said that he had agreed to cooperate with federal prosecutors, who are examining whether Mr. Trump's campaign colluded with Russians during the election and whether the president or his aides sought to cover up those efforts. I recognize that the actions I acknowledged in court today were wrong, and, through my faith in God, I am working to set things right, Mr. Flynn said.